good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pedro, and I'm Senior Solution Architect for NVIDIA, working for NVIDIA in Brazil, based in Rio de Janeiro. And I use it to support uh, oil gas companies, mainly Petrobras there. But now I'm focusing on our higher education and their uh, strategic uh, R&D partners. And the, the presentation today I'm, I'm going to, to give, it's part of this uh, R&D project that uh, Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul and the ma majority of this, the research group is there, but we have a co consultant from uh, Brazilian Air Force uh, Institute of Technology, and it's funded by Petrobras, and my role in this, in this research is, of course, to help them to test and extract the, the best performance and do experimentations on top of NVIDIA technologies, okay? Focusing on their uh, seismic applications for Petrobras. By the way, uh, Petrobras is using uh, NVIDIA GPUs and NVIDIA platform since uh, 2008. And uh, of course, the main challenge is here is uh, to study the trade-off between uh, portability and performance. And uh, the idea is to, uh, the challenge is to choose not only the architecture, but the uh, PPI, the pro parallel programming interface. And the, the main questions are, you know, uh, the performance based not only in speed, but also on energy consumption, okay? And what's the impact of these PPIs and the core portability in this this efficiency. If it's not working. Yeah. It's not working. So, uh, the impact of the code, the portability, of course, how much, how much performance I'm, I'm losing f uh, to have uh, portability. And we have from levels of abstractions in our uh, development platform from uh, uh, ISO, ISO standard languages for C++. For example, since C++ uh, 17, you can use uh, uh, part of the, the C++ programming to develop for GPUs and CPUs in parallel code, okay? Or the other strategy using uh, uh, directives like OpenACC and OpenMP, or directly uh, on CUDA, okay? And the best performance you can achieve in our, our, our platform, of course, is to adopt uh, the, um, the libraries already accelerated and optimized by NVIDIA team, okay? So what we experiment here in this, in this uh, work, uh, despite the growing number of, uh, of uh, uh, NVIDIA developers, uh, GPU developers is, of course, the, the role of the third component that is the developer itself, hardware, software, and developer. And what we, what we did was to give the code, give the, the, the algorithm to a PhD study student, uh, a computer science student, and uh, they pick up the application, uh, set up some target architectures, Okay, and set up the, the, the KPIs, as I said, the speed and, and uh, energy consumption. And the algorithm chosen was the Fletcher uh, implementation for anisotropic media because it's, it's, it's treatment of, of uh, slow velocities, shared, 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 shear velocities, okay. And uh, we saw that set, 76% of the, uh, the, the compute timing was in the, uh, the kernel, of course, uh, the cross derivatives. So uh, we did uh, the baseline with no optimization, it's the cross the derivative stencil. And the derivative one, derivative one, we pre compute uh, the, the first derivatives and we use it to the cross derivatives. Uh, as uh, GPU, uh, the main uh, uh, work was done on Pascal P100, uh, Volta V100, and recently we 
gave access to them to a DGX A100, and uh, we have some results on there. Okay, here's the, the V100 with 5,000 CUDA cores, and the CPUs, okay, the Intel Xeon with 44 cores, and uh, the Broadwell and the Skylake with 24 cores. Okay. And the PPI chosen was a comparison by OpenACC, what's portable, for CUDA that's targeted uh, uh, to the GPU architecture. And for the multi-core, we compared OpenMP and OpenACC. Uh, I know that both are, are, are portable. So the idea was not to uh, uh, optimize all the codes and, uh, and compare the most optimal code, but uh, uh, average as I said, uh, how a, a PhD student, not a professional programmer, a skilled programmer can do, okay, to test the portability. And the data for, for a comparison uh, for energy consumption was IP, IPMI uh, tool, okay? Here are some uh, results comparing Open, OpenMP, OpenACC on Broadwell and Skylake, okay? The baseline, remember, is the, the, the cross-derivative extension, and the, the there one, there one, is the reuse, the, the first derivatives. And we have here, uh, and we have here, interesting that uh, OpenACC was a little bit faster, 27%, even on, on, on CPU. Today we see that OpenACC and OpenMP are converging for almost, almost uh, uh, the same uh, features. We had a, a speed up in the baseline, but for the optimized code, we have uh, uh, almost the same results in, in both uh, CPUs. Okay? Statistically the same. For the GPUs, we saw comparing uh, Pascal, okay, uh, CUDA, Pascal, and uh, OpenACC, we see that, of course, CUDA is, is faster, but not that faster in, uh, in terms of the, the, the optimized code, okay, on Pascal. On Volta, we see a uh, 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 largest gain from, from uh, OpenACC uh, to CUDA, okay? Here you see for the no, uh, no optimized code, this uh, uh, speed up, and, but in average, we, we experienced what expected that with CUDA, or, or, I mean for OpenACC, you were losing around 55, 57%, uh, sorry. With CUDA, you have a speed up of 57% on top compared with OpenACC. It's the trade-off to have portability of OpenACC or the performance uh, with CUDA. And uh, here you see it also in, in, uh, in the optimizing. See? The baseline, 57, and the optimizing, 63%. Uh, percent. Okay? Here, of course, I'm here, no, I don't want to, to compare uh, I, uh, apples to bananas, but just to give an idea in terms of uh, cell updates per child, the comparison between the CPU and the GPU. Okay, here we have OpenACC and CUDA. And uh, the difference from CUDA uh, on the P100 and the V100. Okay, the, the, the speed up, the, the increase in, uh, uh, in more consumption, but also with more performance and uh, is energy efficient. Okay. Zooming out in the, the OpenACC in uh, Broadway and Skylake, we see uh, the, the improvement with the, the derivative uh, reuse, and the comparison is 10% uh, uh, faster, okay, with no, with no, uh, with no optimization. Comparing the baseline from uh, OpenACC, Skylake to Broadway. Okay. 
So it's a little bit uh, better in the broader since it has uh, more cores for the OpenECC compiler at least. And the last his results that we had is uh, the speed up uh, on top of any video platform is is not uh, as a, again uh, is not a fully optimized CUDA code, okay? Like Fatmi can do a, a better job than than this student, but uh, with no code change, just recompile for P100, recompile for V100, and recompile for A100, we see this speed up from architecture to architecture, okay? around from uh, P100 to A100, almost six times faster, okay? So, uh, the conclusions, what we already expected, uh, the cost of the code portability, the performance that I'm, I'm, I'm losing to, when I use a, a strategy like OpenACC to have code portability is different from architecture to architecture, CPU, GPU, et cetera. And uh, the OpenACC uh, was better than the OpenNMP, at least for this example. And we saw this uh, CUDA uh, almost 200% faster than OpenACC, of course. It, was, uh, in, it wasn't the, the main implementation, was the baseline, you know, with the, the extension for the cross derivatives. Derivatives, but we experience we experience in the example in these uh, experiment experiments what's in the literature that we have in average fifty to sixty percent gain when we move from OpenACC to CUDA or thinking the opposite at what I'm losing for choosing uh, such a, a, a portable code like OpenACC and OpenMP. What we want to do, of course, compare with uh, uh, other level of abstraction like the Vito, the DSL. Uh, we want to compare the, the, the C++ with the native the, uh, uh, parallel uh, instructions. Multi-GPU, multi-node, uh, other components of the, the real application, uh, GPU direct storage for I.O., the new architectures, our new uh, 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 ARM-based CPU, name it Grace, and of course, the, the next generation of NVIDIA GPUs. I'd like to thank you again, and any questions? Do we have any questions? Um, yeah, what, what, one question regarding the comparison you made between Broadwell and Skylake. Um, are some of the parameters within those systems, are they kept equal, like core counts, frequencies, stuff like that? Is it purely an architecture comparison that you're doing, or could, like, choosing which specific CPU you're choosing within that architecture could have that influence as well? Um, well, I, I, don't, I don't have all the details of the, 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 the experiments, but I think we did it any trick in the, the uh, I think, the standard configuration. No? Just take the, 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 the CPU you have without doing any, you know, uh, system setup or parameterization to change that, overclocking or et cetera. It's, it's, it's the question. Ifran? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a random, uh, uh, it's not, I, sh I showed the, the specific configuration, but we are not comparing the, uh, for example, 
top brother with top sky lake so you know welcome hey peter a quick question um the uh, gigaflop or gigacell numbers that you gigacell numbers that you uh, showed that were they inclusive of any kind of communication cost no no it's, uh, it's just one gpu one cpu everything fits, fits inside once one uh, well okay and it's not yeah gpu gpu communication no no okay it's just the, do the you have any insight or guess how that would uh, change the the um the ratio between native code in cuda and an open acc including the the yeah how much how, how so you showed a, a significant difference right in, in some cases over a factor of two in, in performance difference yeah and do you yeah do you feel comfortable taking a guess at how that would change uh if you would include or have to include communication costs in that uh it's at some cases I, I, it's uh, uh we can uh, completely hide uh, hide the, the the latency of communication and it's not uh, going to to i mean uh, for a change in the halos it, we can do it uh, perfectly hidden and it's not zero even impact in, even in something higher level like open acc oh Th that was my sorry i was yeah. clear that was my question in open acc how, how much worse does it get if you have to do communication in open acc to to do the communication have uh, you, i mean uh, for the, the programming point of view, it's not that hard to, to combine open, open, open ACC and open uh, MPI, for, exa for example. Okay, we, we had examples to, to do that. And in terms of the, the, the communication impact for the, we expect to have zero impact for, for the, the latency uh, highness. I expect, that's why <laughs> it's part of the future to work, Fair test enough. everything, and uh, I hope to be a, a here again to share the, the results with the community. Thanks. Welcome. <coughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Petra. Thank you.